So let's start by drawing the diamond cubic structure. It can be a little intimidating, but I'll walk you through it. First, it's just a simple cube. Then we know that an eighth of an atom fits in each corner. So I'll just, I'll just draw the whole atom, actually, just for simplicity today. And an atom is on each face. I'll just draw the simplified version of this. OK. But what's happening is in diamond cubic, just like in zinc blend, you have two atoms on the top and two atoms on the bottom. So if I were to draw it with a different color, it would look like this one here and this one here. And since that one's in the back, this one in the front, that one in the back. I'm going to concentrate on one section so I can find the A to C ratio. Sorry. I'll just concentrate on one section. So I would do this part. OK. Now, this is a little tricky because this little guy looks something like this, this corner of the diamond cubic. The corner is over here. I'm going to draw it out and show you where the right angle triangles are and where the right angle is actually. So we have our two atoms. Their connection is 2R. This atom is, is upright and it's in the plane. So this would be the right angle triangle. But what's happening here is that as you go out onto the edge of the, uh, of the structure, you get an atom, uh, a triangle that looks like this, where the right angle is over here. Now, what are all these sides? I'm going to tell you that when you look at the uh, edge over here, you'll see that the halfway point is here, and that the quarter, quarterway point is over here. That means that this is A over 4. And we take the, from the quarterway point, we go a quarter in to the plane. So this is another A over 4. And we go a quarter up from the plane. So that's another A over 4. But what we don't know at all is this one in the middle. That's the key to finding the A to R ratio. I'm going to call this Y. And that's what we're going to find. So this Y is the, is the hypotenuse of this bottom triangle. So let's start with that. Y squared is equal to A over 4 squared plus A over 4 squared. So Y squared. So A over 4 is squared is a over 16 plus another a over 16 you get a squared a squared over 16 obviously uh, so a squared over 8 that is our y squared now the second triangle we have 2r squared is equal to a over 4 squared plus y squared. We have y squared from up here, so let's do that, put that in, and let's solve for the other guys. So 4r squared is equal to a squared over 16 plus a squared all over 8. Perfect. Now we can solve for our a to r ratio. It takes a bit of crunching numbers, but we can do it. So 4 r squared is equal to a squared over 8 is the same thing as 
2a squared over 16, right? So that means we have 3a squared over 16. Now let's solve for a squared. 16 times 4 is 64. And then divided by 3, r squared is a squared. So our a to r ratio, a is equal to 8r all over root 3.